So good afternoon and uh, welcome back to the dunes here at Formby Nature Reserve. It's um, Wednesday afternoon, uh, about 20 minutes before sunset and it's a cloudless wonderful afternoon and I just thought well there is a bank of cloud on the horizon as there always is or always seems to be um, but I just thought I'd come out and just witness this wonderful dune system in the golden light like I've been down here many times now as you've probably seen so yeah I'm just gonna have a wander around uh, it looks like we might be in for some nice color over there in the distance that would be a treat won't it so nothing I'm just a handheld camera today nothing um, technical really just gonna point and shoot and see what happens I just wanted to be here have this fresh air and witness this wonderful uh, location Okay, so one of the things I've chosen to do, and I haven't planned this, it's just what I'm witnessing what I'm seeing, and I'm taking the silhouettes of the grass on these verges. Uh, it's quite nice actually when you've got the sun dipping behind. Obviously there's not a lot going on in the sky from a you know, photographic point of view. It is just, well, a lovely blue really. Um, and then obviously turning into the orange. And I think just making these silhouettes is quite nice. I'm just changing around with my aperture as well, going from f1.7 to a really sh small depth of field up to a much wider one, obviously, to uh, get more depth of field. But I think it's quite nice when you've, you know, it's quite appealing having something in the very foreground of the image and it gives it some depth and some scene. So it's not necessarily just a point and shoot looking at the, the Grand Vista where it's just blue and a horizontal line and then the sea. I'm just trying to use the things in the foreground there to uh, add some interest to the image. So that's what I've been looking at so far, so we'll continue. I'll just make my way through the dunes here and we'll see how it unfolds. Okay, so I just wanted to show you this little section here. Uh, if you've watched my previous shoots from here, you'll know that I keep referring to, well, trying to look for a footprint-less environment. And it's very difficult, because obviously there's dogs and they're leaving a four prints every time, well, four paw prints every time they take a step. Um, but I've just walking over here, look at this little bit down here. It's like snow, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, obviously with the low side light, which is absolutely glorious. It's just getting better and better. It's going to be over in a few moments by the looks of it. But that is wonderful. Just that little scene there, it's really inviting that. And I think they're the little, that's the needle in the haystack that I'm looking for when I come here now. Um, I have taken, I've been on about six or seven shoots what I've not vlogged. Um, so I might just run through some of those images at the end of this vlog just to give you an idea because my knowledge of this place is growing all the time and I'm quite fascinated by it really. It's, <laughs> it's surprised me really. I'm no longer mourning for the Lake District. I'm excited at what lies ahead instead of living in the past so that's a good sign I suppose. But yeah that's a lo lovely little scene there. I thought I'd just share that with you. The, the light and the shadow is uh, just these soft uh, shadows what have been formed now it's absolutely glorious anyway I'm going to move on because the sun waits for no man as we know so we'll uh, we'll see what's around the corner
Okay, so we've, uh, it's been and gone. <laughs> As I was approaching here, there was a figure, or well, a person, <laughs> sat on the, um, on the end of my little strip here, which is great. All the people are enjoying it. Uh, it kind of detracted from me wanting to rush over here and do a vlog though, so I kind of let him have his piece. Not that I'm embarrassed about doing it, I just don't want to be stood next to someone when they're trying to have a moment's peace and I'm talking to uh, to you guys. So anyway, um, giving people space, the sun has set now, you can probably see in the distance, or hopefully you can see, the very faint silhouette of Snowdonia National Park there with uh, the higher peaks of, uh, of Snowdonia there, which is looking absolutely glorious, so there isn't any cloud, it's the mountains, um, a bit hazy I would say, some lovely colour coming up by... Um, over towards Blackpool I would say and probably the Lake District ironically um, so yeah it's been an, been a kind of very frantic very rapid shoot really nothing uh, overly exciting but just a joy to be out like I always say and uh, you know there doesn't always have to be a purpose and a story to a vlog I don't think I think it's just you know, I'm just trying to document what I'm doing here um, not every shoot is outstanding, not every shoot needs to be planned to the nth degree, not that I really do that anyway, it's just head out and see what happens. So I'm quite interested to uh, have a look at the images back on the computer there, especially them uh, silhouetted shots, I think they could be quite nice. I've made this uh, little scene here, what I must have made 10 or 20 times now. Um, I'm not overly confident that's going to come out spectacular, I think, it's, I think I've got it better than that before. But nonetheless, it's just a wonderful place to be and uh, again, just sharing my passion for the subject and the growing passion for this place, should we say. So that's great. Like I was saying, um, like I was saying earlier, I have spent a lot of time down here over the last few weeks. I've uh, done a lot of shoots without vlogs, uh, just walks, I guess, really, with the, the camera. And uh, it's, it's a massive expanse and it is really quite appealing from a photographic point of view. I think. I think looking back on it now, a month in, so something like that, um, I think I thought I was going to get bored with it quite quickly, and I haven't done. Um, there seems to be a lot of variety, and I'm really quite grateful that I can explore it, really, on my doorstep, so that's a bonus. All right, well, I'm just going to witness what happens for the next 10 or 15 minutes. I'm not expecting anything spectacular. Some nice clouds up here, but I don't think uh, anything's going to explode. It's, there's no cloud to bounce the light off. But I'm just going to witness being here, enjoy that, and I'll wish you a good week with your own photography and uh, make some time to get out and enjoy it for yourself if you can. Okay, well, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. All the best for now. Bye-bye.